Hi guys, welcome back to another quick and easy After Effects tutorial. Now, in today's tutorial, we'll be going over how to create color controls in your project. And if you don't know what a color control is, it's something that's really extremely handy. So basically what it is, is this cool little thing you custom make that instantly controls all the colors of your project. Now, you can set it up any way you like, and basically, um, you can go in and change all of your colors at once in your project. And I know right now it looks really simple. Let's make this one orange. That's sort of orange. And yeah, and you can go in and change your background color instantly. And it's all held within one thing. So if you really want to take it far, let's say you have a big template filled with different objects moving around, all these different pre-comps of all these different I don't know, let's say a lower thirds project or something, you can go in um, and change all the colors. So name color. Let's change it to, I don't know, red. Red for the name color. And then the main shape, I'm guessing that's the white shape. Yes, it's white. We can change this to a light blue. The secondary shape, let's change that to also a blue. I'm guessing that's the leftover white one. And extra shape one, two, three, and four. I'm guessing are these extra little shapes on each of the things. We'll leave them black for now. But yeah, you get the gist. So you can quickly change your colors of different objects in a, in a, in a scene or something, which is extremely handy instead of going in one by one changing these colors. So. Let's uh let's get started. So what we're gonna do just to get something started, um, go ahead and make a new composition. We will call it color control comp and duration. Anything like that doesn't really matter right now. So hit OK. Now we have this. Our background is black. So we want to create some things we're gonna assign the color control for. So so first off, we are going to create a new adjustment layer. So right click new adjustment layer and we will rename this to color control. Awesome. So how are we going to do this? On your color control, on your effect controls, if it's not here, go to window, there it is, effect controls, bring it back up, dock it anywhere you like, we're going to keep it here. Inside of color control, we'll right click and go to expression controls. Then we'll click color control, which opens up this little tab where we can change the color, but nothing is happening yet. We haven't assigned this to anything. So what we're going to do is create some new shapes. Let's do a new, actually let's just do, we just want to drag out a shape. Take the anchor point of the shape and move it to the middle because we like it right there for some reason. Let's duplicate this shape. Command D, one, two, three, four. There's four of them now. Move them around the screen. Ah, why not six? Two more. It looks nicer. And then we'll do one more shape. New, solid for the background. Doesn't matter what this is. Let's make it light red to start off. Move the background shape right here. Now we got our six shapes and our background. We can go ahead and start renaming these. This is BG for background, and then shape one, two, three, four, five, and six. Should be somewhat in order. Not really, not a big deal. Next, this is a very important step. We're going to our effects and presets and go to fill. Yeah, normally you would change your color of your shapes by clicking on them and changing your fill here, but we're going to put a fill effect on each shape. So copy or put your fill effect here. Grab this command C to copy this effect. Highlight all of these and command V to paste the effect. Cool, almost there. We also need to change the back, put a fill on the background as well. Okay, now everything is red. <laughs> so normally it's because it's in your effect controls on your shape. You can change your color of your fill, changes the shape color, but we don't want to do that. We want to go back to our color control and there are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven different objects in our scene, our color control, and we're going to make seven of these. 
two, three, four, five, six, seven. Cool. And this is where the fun begins. So take your background, um, click E for effect, drop down the fill. So hold Option on your keyboard and click the little hourglass with Option held, and it opens up this. So your expression controls. Now what you're going to do is click back to color control and lock the effect controls right here. So when you click away, it doesn't go away. Click on your background, take this little thing and pick whip it to color. Now it's been set. So the color control number seven will actually change the background control. And it's easy as this. So on shape number one, We'll do the top one because it's the shape number one. We can quickly change the names of these. Two, three, four, five, and six. So we know it's corresponding to shape one. Click E for effect, drop down the fill, option click on the hourglass, pick whip it to this. E, drop down the fill, option click on color, pick whip it to color. E, drop down the fill, option click on the hourglass, pick whip the color. This is shape number three, color number three. E, drop down the fill, option click on the hourglass. I think you get the picture. It's pretty straightforward. And before you know it, we should be good. So if we start changing the hues of these, it should start giving us different colors. We have different colors now. Sweet. So we can highlight all of these, close them down. What I would normally do is lock the color control so nothing can get affected when you click around. And yeah, before you know it, you have a completely controllable color. And already really simple. One problem you can run into though is if you pre-compose your layers and move them to another comp by themselves, After Effects will lose the connections between your pick whip to these because they're getting moved to a new comp. So the project contains errors and expressions one through six. Makes sense. But to save yourself from this, let's say you have a new composition. It's the furthest part of your comp. And you have two circles. Ellipse one, ellipse two. What I normally do is create a composition called the color master where I can put compositions into and since this is comp 2, we can put a fill on this shape. Um, jump back to our locked control panel for effect controls on our color control. Find the fill and select it to color 4. Let's make it green. Change it to green. And then our color control, we drop in our comp number 2. There's our green circles. Change the green in our composition, and there you go. So have your top master color control where you create new pre-comps and stuff like that, and you edit their colors in here. Um, and that's color control in a nutshell. Not too hard. Um, any questions, please leave a comment. Um, um, anything you're confused on, please leave a comment. Um, yeah, that's it. Uh, but please like and subscribe to my channel. Still new. Um, and if, I guess if I get a lot of likes on this video, let's say, I don't know, a hundred eventually, I will gladly upload this lower third template for free and link it in the description. So keep an eye on the like count because when it hits a hundred, I will upload this to media share or something and give you the ability to download it for free. So thank you. This is Max and this was Cool Happens. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Tutorial, please like and subscribe. Thanks again, guys.